Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Southern Slope Homestead. Today, we're doing a follow-up on the tractor front axle, no oil type issue that I had that I made a video not long ago. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put it up top here. I don't even remember what side it goes on, but we are servicing the tractor today. And we did put some, uh, some oil in that front axle. Now, I think I roughly got about, let's see here, all right, I got 68 hours on this tractor. When I discovered that there was no oil in the front axle, it was 62 hours that I had on the tractor. Now, I may exaggerate it on saying that there wasn't a drop of oil in this tractor. There actually was a little bit of oil in the bottom of that axle. But as you can see on the axle shafts, it was barely at the bottom like i wouldn't even say that it was touching the axle shaft so the concern of these drives actually running with no oil in them is um not an issue anymore i mean i thought about it i calmed down there was a little bit of oil in there but there wasn't enough this thing takes like three and a half quarts of oil and i'd probably say maybe there was a quart in there i'm not sure but either way it was a fail on the dealership which brings me on to my next chapter of this story that I'm telling I contacted corporate Kubota corporate uh, I didn't call them I emailed them and I told them what happened a lot of people said that you know it was on the dealer to make sure that the oil was topped off and fluids were topped off in this whole tractor it was on me to do pre-inspection It was on them to do pre-inspection all the way around it's a yes on their part, solid yes on their part, 50-50 on mine. This axle is supposed to be checked at 400 hours. I curiously checked it at the 62, thank God I did, and I didn't follow the manual. I actually checked it earlier. Um, it's supposed to be changed at 400 actually, but either way, either way, I'm a novice when it comes to owning tractors, so it's all learning experience, so I hope this, guy's, I hope this helps you guys, and believe it or not, there has been a lot, a lot of commotion about this incident with this tractor. Not coming from Kubota for sure. Definitely not going from the dealership because they don't know anything about it. Uh, but I made a TikTok, if you guys aren't familiar with that. It's like another social media thing. But it had almost 300,000 hits. Uh, ungodly amount of comments. And you know what I found out is this is not a rare incident this happens all the time all the united states i had so many people besides trolls so many people tell me that oh my god i got even on my youtube channel oh my god i've got to go check my tractor and there was a lot of them that said that yep there's no oil in there what the video is about today is i'm going to drain the oil out of that front axle and i'm going to show you what that oil looks like i am praying there is not metal and that oil and it doesn't come out metallic but we're going to find out together because i'm actually going to put an 80 90 gear oil in there uh, i did put the hydraulic oil that's recommended for the tractor in the front axle which they also recommend that too because that's what i had on hand but i knew i wasn't going to run that for very long i really wanted to get all the fluids going and and really get anything that's in that axle out i want to get everything lubed and ready to go i'm going to drain it we're gonna see how much metal comes out. I hope none, but I'm guessing you guys are probably curious to find out if there is or not, so let's get to it. All right, folks, so just so no funny business, we will drain it right here on camera. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I have not busted these loose yet. That did come open pretty loose though. Uh, let's see here, get that drain plug out. Oh yeah. Let's put that in that, yeah. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, shit. Well, it ain't good. It ain't good at all. Getting this plug put back in real quick. There's no sense of leaving it out. And then I will pull this oil pan out. 
and I will show you what it looks like. I don't know guys, what do you think? You think I'm in trouble? Man, I don't know. What do you guys think? This oil didn't look like it was <laughs> very impressive when I popped that plug. In fact, it was, I don't know, it was very metallic in color and very reflective. And we all know that that's not necessarily a good thing, but it is an axle, not such tight tolerances, not like a motor. So I'm hoping, convincing more like it, that this is not gonna be that big of an issue. Hopefully, it won't be that big of an issue. Hopefully, you know, there's a little bit more uh, wear and tear on that front axle. Maybe the tractor won't need uh, bearings in the front for, you know, at 20 years. Maybe it's gonna need at 15. Who knows, but. Now I did only drain out that one side. I do plan on going to the other side. So you guys just hold your horses. Don't tear me apart in the comments section. Uh, but the majority of the oil is gonna come out this side. I think whatever's gonna be in that low spot there is gonna look exactly the same. So, save you guys a little bit of a button mashing on your keyboard. I plan on doing the other side, so don't worry. But this is what I'm gonna do. I got 68 hours on this tractor. I'm gonna put some 8090 in this. I'm gonna run it for like 10 hours. I'll drain it again. I'll see what the oil looks like then. If it still looks like uh, the new Vivid Black, for a SEMA paint job, uh, I might be a little concerned. But until then, you guys tell me what you think. And we'll return back to this in a couple, uh, I don't know, maybe months or so, so. All right, sorry for the short video though. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead, guys. See ya.